All right, let's get this show on the road. Hello. Hello and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. This is my show. I've just the lighting set up today, guys, just to see how it would look with a little less bright. I was finding that the corners were really, really blown out. And that was a big problem. I'm also finding that my focus here is a little odd. It's a little soft. So I'm wondering if there's a thing I can do here that would ah interesting maybe that's my problem maybe maybe not I think that's as good as it's gonna get for now. So let's go with it. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Cancel. <laughs> Whoops. Camera is lagging. I think it's working again. That was really strange. Yeah, all right. That's better. That was really weird though. All right, well, anyway. So, today, second last show of the year because uh, I will not be streaming Christmas Day or New Year's Day um, we're going to be working on the short film because I want to get it done this week or next week um, I originally had planned that I would do one week on this and then next week I would do Fear the Siren but it's also maybe a good thing to start the new year off with Fear the Siren uh, and kind of do that sort of thing. So yeah, that is one of the plans.
Interesting. Okay. So where we're at. We are getting pretty close to a conclusion. Pretty close. <laughs> I am cozy in this hat. Nice and warm today. Temperature in here is really good. Yeah, I was just finishing up something that I started while waiting for the stream to start with uh, updating a Goodreads account with recommendations of things to read and stuff like that. I've been trying to update and read more in general. So yeah, good things, good things.
The origin's always accidental. It has no meaning if it's purposeful. Or not as much meaning, anyway. I was late? No. I was like, because I was doing things around the house. Secret Science Lab. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, I know what I was doing. Okay. I, I got it. I got it.
Uh, so we're basically near the end. Um, yeah, we're 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 near the end. So basically, what's happened so far is that our main character Nathan has woken up in a pile of blood. He finds a body of himself on the floor. He meets up with his colleague, friend, ally, uh, Jack London, who works at the FBI, who is aware of a secret conspiracy to replace Nathan uh, with a clone. They devise a plan, a pool of blood, sorry, <laughs> Metal Gear. That's funny. Uh, they devise a plan uh, to protect him by having him stream uh, basically all the time. And then Nathan gets DDoSed, his stream stops, we cut to black. Next, I'm gonna do a scene with London where the FBI tech tells him that the stream has stopped. And then I'm going to have a resolution scene with two of the evil scientists who are replacing him. I think is what I'm going to do. So I'd say these two scenes are probably the last two. That's for you, Sam, but I'm going to share it with everybody in case they're interested. Because I just saw it. I did. I did today, Sam. <laughs> I just haven't attached it to anything yet. Yes. 
Sorry, I had a different window open there, so I missed our chat. But yes, um, me and Sam have been discussing an idea for a book club. Um, so yeah. We will let you know when more details are to be had. Um, but if anyone is interested, you can find my Goodreads account at uh, goodreads.com slash accidental origin. Yeah, I, I hear you, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm like looking, I was like looking behind me. It was like, what books have I read? Because contrary to popular belief, I have not read all of these books. Um, so yeah. In Germany, Ronnie, it's it's snowing right now. Well, and and that's the thing, Sam, is I've actually read probably a significant number close to the amount of books I own, but I have not read nearly all of the books I own. Cause I've read, yeah, I've read tons of books, uh, eBooks. I've read a bunch of audio books or I've listened to a bunch of audio books that aren't necessarily there. Uh, I've read a ton of comics and that kind of thing. Uh, many of which I own, but many of which I don't again, cause I got them from the library or any of that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. We have a lot of snow. Um, I'm actually cool with that because I do want to read that as well. Because I have your list open here. I, uh, I starred the ones I really want to read. I actually really want to read The Big Sleep as well. I feel like Christian would really either really like that or really hate that. <laughs> Wait, which, which Christian? Christian Hood or other Christian? Cause I did not know other Christian was Polish if that's who we're talking about. Anyway, sorry. <laughs>
Okay, other Christian? I did not know he was Polish. That makes so much more sense. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> Now your story about about that, I remember you telling that story that one time about dual languages. It makes so much more sense now. <laughs> I was very confused.
Oh, cool, drying. You will address him as Commander Hadfield, Sam. If you do not, I will be sad.
I was uh, I was hanging out with uh, my friend Stefan the other day. Uh, Stefan being the lead singer and guitarist of the band Onion Face, who I've talked about a few times. Uh, and I was, um, and well, their drummer, Onion Face's drummer, John, was there. And I was saying the physics of trying to play a guitar in zero G is very interesting. <laughs> And he gave me this whole lecture about how sound is not different in space. And I'm like, yes, I understand that. <laughs> but the actual physics of playing the guitar is a different thing. I mean, that mostly makes sense. <laughs> Interesting. Um...
Good job trying? All right. I'm sorry? Hey Sully, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of in my storytelling head and 
book reading and all kinds of stuff. All right, I'm gonna take a break here. And then uh, when I come back, they look like scientists, Ronnie. They look like scientists. Uh, yeah, when I come back, we will come up with a way to end this scene that kind of closes out the movie and then it's pretty much done we'll have to definitely do have to do at least one round of uh, editing for sure but yeah all right Well, they're definitely wearing lab coats because no one would be able to tell their scientists unless they were wearing lab coats. So, yeah. All right, break time. <laughs> 